Hey guys, welcome to Shojib Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to open and close inventory in Unity 2017 using C Sharp. Alright, so I have a sample. Alright, so this is the game screen. It's empty, right? I can press I. Inventory opens. Press I again. Inventory closed. Open, close. Open, close. I have this. Uh, Inventory attached to the main camera. You can also attach to a player. I'll show you both. All right, let's get started First we're going to create our inventory widget All right, so go to game object and go to user interface UI and click on panel You can see something like this um, You can if you're in different access you can go to Z access and that will give you that um, But we might have to move it to um let's see so select panel and right click on the panel and go to ui and add a text um drag the task on your left and then you'll see it's appearing on the right side of the screen so i think that we have the access wrong we were in z axis we have to be in x axis okay so go to x axis and straight your screen um you can press alt and left click to change the angle all right so this is good all right so now it makes sense right so you have to be in x axis um all right so now let's move it to the left side uh all right let's resize our panel first select the rect tool resize it okay Take the task and put it here. We're going to make the text bigger. On the right side, let's give it 20. I give it 200, right? 20. All right, that's good. Now we're going to change the content of this. So it's going to be right here. It's going to be inventory. Okay. And uh, give it a color. I'm going to give it something like this maybe blue i don't know yeah all right so we have the the size of our panel and we have a label now click on panel and we are going to add another panel right click ui panel so we have two panel now let's resize, select the newly created panel and let's resize it. Right, and put it in the center underneath the label. Something like this. Okay. Like that. All right, so now we are going to add we're going to we're going to make this a, a grid layout so we're going to um, go to layout um, select panel the component layout and select grid layout group and then right click on the panel and go to UI raw image once you create the first one, have the row image selected, uncheck this, uh, ray cast target, select the second panel, and we're going to remove the image script. So right click on the image script and remove it. All right. Um, having the second panel selected, we're going to reduce the cell size to 50 maybe. Uh, yeah, 50 and we're going to give some spacing x axis 5 and y axis 5 uh, we're also going to re reduce this so that it looks nice all right all right so once we have the first one laid out um, select the first row image and control c uh, copy and paste Paste, 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 paste. Keep pasting until the entire inventory is filled. All right, I'm going to stop here. Now I can resize this panel. 
um, vertically and size this as well. Move the label down. All right. Now, yeah. All right. So yeah, I'm somewhat happy with the the way it looks. So this is something you can work on your own to make it a lot better. But um, I'm gonna keep this for right now. So we have the inventory widgets and is in the center of the screen. This is how it actually is gonna look like. All right, now we're going to work on minimize this canvas. We're going to do is right click on here, create a new C sharp script. We're going to name it inventory. All right. Now we can we don't have any player at this moment, but we can you can attach the script to the main camera. You don't have to have a, anything in the you don't have to have a player in order to show this inventory. But I'll show you both ways. Both way it will work. Uh, so I'm going to select the main camera and drag this inventory uh, script to here, and you will see it get added inventory script right now i'm going to double click inventory script and this is how it looks now we have to add one more of this is and it's going to unity engine.ui okay and we're going to create a public variable called um, game object panel all right, this is going to be public now. Minimize your editor, go back to your main camera, and you should see a panel variable, a global variable that you can um, attach um, something to it. Select the main camera. So, we're going to drag this panel from here to there. Okay, so select the main camera and make sure you see this uh, panel variable. Um, choose Click on the panel of parent and drag to here. All right, then it should say panel and panel, and this is the object. All right, now let's go back to the inventory. Now my parent has access to the, uh, the panel, the parent panel. Uh, we are going to create a boolean. This is going to be is inventory open, and the default value is going to be false. Um, so in the start, I'm going to panel game object, uh, set active. I'm going to set it to false to begin with. When the game, when the game start, um, you're not going to see the, uh, the inventory panel because we don't want to show it. So we don't have to do it here. Um, you can just declare that and we can set it, uh, here. Okay. So when it start, uh, we have this declared and we can set the, the default value here. It says false. And in update um, method, we can say if input that um, get key uh, key code dot i. So if you press i we are going to check if is inventory okay i have to camel case this i'm going to check if inventory is true if it's true we're going to take this okay make sure you fix this as well uh if it's true we're going to set it to um if the inventory is open we're going to um, set it to false and also we're going to set the variable to false as well. Else, we're going to revert this. If it's not open, I'm going to open it. And then I'm going to update the variable here. This should do it. Save your work, minimize, then, then play. All right, so here we're not seeing the inventory. And I'm going to press I and it shows up here. I, 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 I. All right, so we have this problem. I think we can fix this. 
uh, it works, but it flickers because I'm using get key only, right? So maybe we can make, you can do get key down. See if this helps with this. All right, now it's better. So it's when the key is down, when I press I, when the key is down, that's when it's going to show. Same thing as this. Open, close, open, close. So it's attached to the main camera. Um, I'm going to show you now we can also do this. So I'm going to uncheck this. Now um, we're going to bind this to a new player. Let's say we create a cube, 3D cube, and we, we call it a player, right? Let's say this is a player. And uh, uh, we can uh, attach the script to this player as well, like this. And without doing anything else, it will work. Um, if you see on the main camera, this is not, we can just remove it from here. And but but the script is attached to this. Now you also have to update this the panel. So what we can do is have drag this and put it here, and that's it. It will work with uh, a player object. And now if I run it, and I and it works as well. See. I hope you guys uh, liked it and found it useful. Until next time, goodbye.